In this question, we have been asked to identify the appliance that is given in this figure here. Okay. And we have also been told that this appliance is used for the correction of the class 2 malocclusion. Okay, so from this image and the information that we have been given, we can gather that this is an example or this is a type of a fixed functional appliance. Okay, so functional appliances are used for the correction of a skeletal class 2. And here we can see the, this appliance has been fixed onto the dentition. So this is a type of a fixed functional appliance. Now we have to identify whether this is a herbs appliance, a churro appliance, mara or a forces appliance. So what we see in this image here is actually an example of the herbs appliance. This appliance was first given by Emil Herbs, okay, and it was later popularized by Panchos. Okay, now how will we identify this appliance and how will we differentiate it from the other appliances that are mentioned in the options? So this, now this is a telescope, a bilateral telescopic mechanism which uses a piston and a tube. So what is important? Bilateral telescopic mechanism. What do, what do you mean when you say telescopic mechanism is there is one tube, okay, and there is another smaller tube of smaller di diameter which fits into this tube, okay. So this is what is known as telescopic mechanism. So if you see in this image here, there is a tube which is attached onto the crown of the lower canine and there is a plunger or a piston that goes and attaches into the tube which is attached to the upper molar, okay. So this helps to keep the, the length of this tube has to be selected uh, according to how much protraction we want of the mandible and this will keep the mandible in a protruded position and thereby bringing about the class 2 correction. Now the main features of herbs are its components. So like I said it has a piston and a tube component so this is what they look like. They end in this circular shape. Okay, this is because these screws that are present, they go and fit into this. Okay, and that is how it is held in place. As you can see here, the circular portion of the, uh, uh, the tube or the plunger uh, fits onto the uh, crown or the band uh, by the means of an axle. And then the screw is fit onto the place. So if you see from top, this is how it looks like. It can either be uh, bonded, I'm sorry, it can be welded either on a band or a crown. So if this is the band here, this is the welded portion, okay, which consists of this uh, axle here. And then the uh, end of the tube goes and fits onto it. And then a screw is placed to hold it in position. So this prevents breakages and this helps to hold it in place. Now, this is what the appliance looks like when it is deactivated. Okay, they are separate components. Now, this part will go and fit into this part. Now, if you can notice, there are various types of herbs appliances. They can be banded, okay, here, or they can be uh, crowned, or they can be present on crowns. There are also acrylic bonded uh, herbs appliances, and there are many, many, uh, you know, modifications that have come uh, for the appliance. It's a type of cantilever herbs. Okay, it's a cantilever type of herb. So there's a crown on the upper and a crown on the lower. And the uh, from the lower crown, there's a portion that extends anteriorly. Okay, so there are many types of herbs appliance. However, types of herbs is not a question that is usually asked in the exam. From this topic, what they can ask you is to identify the appliance and its characteristic features. Okay, so like how they gave in this question. Another important thing that they can ask you from this question is Ritos classification. Now, Ritos classification is a slightly advanced question, but such advanced questions we have seen in the AIMS examination. So, uh, although it may seem like something that you have never heard of in your undergraduation, these kind of questions can be asked in case you are attempting to give uh, the AIMS exam or sometimes they can even ask you this in the NEET examination. So, it is good to have a basic idea at least about what the Ritos classification is. So basically, Rito, uh, Rito classified the fixed functional appliances into three types, okay. So there is a rigid, that is flexible, and that is hybrid, okay. So these are the three types of appliances uh, in a fixed functional appliance. So like here we saw there is a piston and tube appliance, right. So these are rigid appliances. However, in a Jasper jumper, we see that there are springs. So those are types of flexible appliances. So the herbs appliance, like I told you, is a type of a rigid functional appliance. Okay, it is rigid. 
it is telescopic okay and it consists of these axles and screws the churo jumper is also a type of a rigid functional appliance okay so it consists of the central coil component and the mesial and distal ends are circles okay so this end will go uh, at in the maxilla okay and it will be attached to the maxillary molars and this component will be attached to the mandibular arch uh, distal to the canine and this will keep the mandible in a forward position then we come to the mara appliance okay that is the mandibular anterior repositioning appliance now this also is a very characteristic appliance because it consists uh, unlike the other appliances this is only limited from molar to molar okay molar to molar and it consists of this uh, characteristic u shape uh, uh, wire which is running from the upper molar to the lower molar onto which cams have been uh, soldered okay so this keeps the uh, mandibular molar in a protracted position or in a forward position okay so mara appliance in the exam will usually be asked only for identification okay they will not go much into the depths of the mara appliance and finally we come to the forces appliance now forces appliance is important clinically because this is one of the fixed functional appliances that is routinely used in clinical practice so this is one that you should be able to identify and this is an example of a hybrid appliance so like i told you according to the ritos classification there is uh, rigid there is uh, for example the herbs there is flexible like the jasper jumper and the forces appliance is actually an example of a hybrid so it consists of the spring component which is flexible okay and the entire assembly itself that is the piston and the tube of the uh, forces appliance in itself is rigid okay so it is a combination of flex having flexible as well as rigid components